So we've solved a, 4a by completing the square, we'll solve 4b by completing the square now, alright? So I'll go over the trick again. The trick with completing the square, there's, there's two steps you need to take and then the rest kind of uh, makes sense. But the two things you need to remember is first, you got to get your x squared and your x term on the left, right? So I want to get the negative 3 over to the other side. How would you do that? Or ba basically you'd add 3 to both sides, right? So x squared plus 16x equals positive 3. So that's step 1, right? Step 1. The next is comes the trick. And the trick is, take the 16 and divide it by 2. What do you get? 8, right? Now square that. Square the 8. What do you get? 64. Right. 64 is the number that you're going to add to both sides. Okay? You're going to add 64 to both sides. Why? Because it'll all make sense in a minute. If you add 64 to both sides, you get x squared plus 16x plus 64 equals, what's 3 plus 64? 67, right? Now what you have is a perfect square trinomial on the left. If you have a perfect tri square trinomial, then you can factorize it, and you can take the square root of both sides, and you can get the two solutions. So factorize this trinomial, and what do you get? In other words, what two numbers multiply to 64, and add to 16. What two numbers multiply to 64 and add to 16? You think of the factors of 64, one of them is 8 times 8. That looks like a candidate, doesn't it? See, 8 times 8 is 64 and 8 plus 8 is 16, right? So this trinomial factorizes to 8 plus 8 times 8 plus 8, right? And you'll also notice that positive 8 occurred up here as well, right? So this is a perfect square trinomial, and how else can we write 8 plus 8 times 8 plus 8? If you were writing that with less ink, what would you do? Make it all squared, right? So what we have is x plus 8 all squared equals 67, right? Now, we have a thing squared equals to something and we can solve this by actually just taking the square root of both sides because the square root is going to undo the square. Now the only thing about taking the square root of both sides is you need to plug in plus or minus. Okay? But take the square root of both sides I must plug in plus or minus. So square root of eight, x plus 8 all squared is x plus 8 and that's equal to plus or minus root 67. Now from this point on, believe it or not, a lot of students make mistakes. So I'm going to write this, I'm going to deal with the plus or minus now, just to make it clear that x plus 8 equals plus root 67, or x plus 8 equals minus root 67, okay? So now there's my two equations, and I can solve each one to get the answer to get the, t the two solutions. So subtract 8 from both sides, we have x equals negative 8 plus root 67, or, and then again subtract 8 from both sides, we have x equals negative 8 minus root 67, right?